What's going on guys? You know we're doing big things when we have a lapel mic now. Testing one, two, three. So this is a, another series of Ask a Realtor. Got a ton of questions you guys uh, messaged in about, so we're gonna go through quite a few of those, so stay tuned. All right guys, so the first question is, I wanna start a career in real estate. What are a few things I should know to get started? So I guess I'll run you through exactly what I had to do to get started, and I didn't know a lot of what I was supposed to know. So coaching and mentoring, having someone that might be in the business already that can kind of walk you through the first year, what to expect, maybe classes to take is a big deal. Also, don't be one of those people that goes to classes, writes a bet down a ton of notes, and then never actually implements anything. Also, don't be afraid to not have business cards. I've not carried business cards for like the last five and a half years. So the biggest thing is getting information from people. It's not as important for you to know as many people as you could possibly know. The idea is you want all those people to know who you are to A, do business with you, and then B, to also refer other people that might be buying and selling either locally or from out of state moving in. So aside from that, it really truly starts as a numbers game. But what I found out from the beginning is people don't care about how much you know until they know how much you care. I know that's a silly saying. However, it really truly does ring. Ring is true, I guess. Is that, a, is that a saying? That's a thing? Anyway, um, so my point in saying that is don't be transactional. Um, I know that a lot of people watch HGTV. They think this job is super easy. And there's a lot outside of just the sign in the yard, uh, the paperwork that you ultimately should know and be able to articulate to your clients in plain English. And it's really about connecting people with people. So going into a setting, you don't know if it's a divorce, if they just had a baby, if they just got married, there's a multitude of things or reasons I should say for why people buy and sell. So it's helpful for you to know why you're going in to that house to sell it and then ultimately speak to their goals. If you feel like you're not the one for them, based off of you feel like you can't provide the level of service that they are needing, then go ahead and refer it to somebody else. Make sure that they ultimately get the service that they truly, truly do need. I appreciate your time, guys. And remember with the Lyle Properties, luxury always comes standard.